Hi, it's Billy from Sweetie Darling and today I'm going to show you how to make brightly coloured ganache drip cupcakes. So this looks brighter than last week. Now I don't know if it's too bright though. This is going to have to be a bit of trial and error because I don't know until it's on my computer and for me it's a bit of a mission to get it on my computer to even check what the footage is like. Now I have already done a video for how to make vanilla cupcakes and how to make my vanilla buttercream which I use for all my cakes, cupcakes, big cakes, fillings, crumb coats, everything. So I'm going to link both of those videos below but this one is based on just how to decorate these cupcakes like this with a bright coloured neon ganache. So I I was making 72 cupcakes here so I just did a big old batch of cupcake mix again which I will link the recipe right underneath this video and then a big old batch of buttercream as well. I've used a plain nozzle and just piped a plain kind of a swirl but not a swirl so I wanted more of like a dollop of buttercream on there so I've done I've done it as you would do a swirl but I've kept it quite low so the swirl almost merges together and because it's plain it's not going to leave loads of ripply lines in it. So once my cupcakes are baked my swirls are piped I can do the ganache. Now for the ganache my friend Anita from Sweet Lakes Cakes, we were talking about ganache a little while ago and she told me that a really good consistency for dripping ganache is a one-to-one -one ratio of chocolate to cream. I actually did loads of ganache here because like I said I had 72 cupcakes to do and I wanted to do six different colours so I knew I needed to split my ganache into six different bowls to do six different colours and therefore I would need quite a lot of it. So I did 600 grams of chocolate and 600 mils of cream which is a lot of ganache. I didn't need anywhere near that amount. I would say if you're doing 12 cupcakes do, mind you it depends if you want to colour it all different colours, I'd say for 12 cupcakes do 100 grams of chocolate and 100 um, mils or grams of cream. That will be more than enough to cover each cupcake. You really don't use much here that's actually more than you would need but if you want to colour it obviously you do need a bit of extra. So I did a one to one ratio, 600 grams of chocolate, 600 mils grams of cream, double cream, microwaved it uh, in one minute burst until it was all melted together. Now this, I should have let, let it cool down here but I didn't, I dived straight into it, tipped some ganache into a bowl and coloured it with uh, the Americolor gel paste. You can see from the video how much the Americolor gels changed the colour of the white chocolate ganache. I was worried that it was going to be a bit transparent but with enough colour it made it completely opaque which is exactly the look that I wanted. Now my initial plan here was to drip the ganache on the top of the buttercream and I hoped that it was going to drip down each side fairly evenly and look kind of like you know when um, you get a sundae or something and there's like that nice run of chocolate or whatever around it and it's like nice even spread around it. That's what I'd hoped for this. And to be fair, I think if I'd let my ganache cool down a bit and thicken up, that might have worked better than me just going straight at it. So I tried to drizzle it on with a piping bag and it was way too runny. It was just dripping straight off the side of like one side of the cupcake or two sides of the cupcake and then straight down the cases and onto the table so it wasn't going to work. So I changed my design idea to dip the cupcakes into the ganache instead, let the excess run off and then when I turned it over it was like the buttercream had a nice dome of ganache on it. It's lucky when it works out that way but I actually preferred the look of this rather than what I had in mind for the drips of ganache down the cupcakes. So I did six different colours of ganache and dipped all my cupcakes into different colours of ganache each time I had to let the excess run off. Now as the ganache cooled as I was doing this, because it did take a surprisingly long time to dip all the cupcakes, but as it cooled throughout the whole process, the ones towards the end were so much easier to do. They weren't too runny, there were, wasn't loads of excess dripping off. When I turned them back over, they weren't running any extra. So just be patient and let it cool down a bit. Mine was far too runny when I started because it was too warm. So once I had my ganache on my cupcakes, the request for this order was the girl whose birthday it was loved millions sweets. So you know the tiny little chewy sweets? I haven't had those since I was probably about, I don't know when they came out, but I would have thought I'd be about 11 when I had them. I remember being on the school bus having millions and I really enjoyed them and they're something I've just not revisited. So I went into a retro sweet shop in Canterbury. Although I don't know, they're probably in the supermarket still. It's just something I don't notice anymore. Anyway, 
obsessed with millions now. These cupcakes have um, reignited a millions fire for me. I've also added in some jelly beans because I thought they'd be nice as sort of like a little, I suppose a topper, like a cupcake topper to them, but jelly beans are fun, they're nice colours as well. So I only pick the nice flavours and I only pick the nice colours. I don't want to chuck cinnamon on there. Like, I love cinnamon, but you don't want to get a cinnamon jelly bean, do you? Mind you, don't knock it till you tried it. I've never tried it. Anyway, I thought they'd be a bit cruel for kids, so I didn't do that. I just picked good flavours and topped each cupcake with a sprinkle of different colour millions and a jelly bean in the middle of each. One. And I was so pleased with how these turned out. And I think the reason I enjoyed them so much is because of the Americana gel colours, because they're just such bright, vibrant colours, and you don't really get that with any other kind of colour. And it just really gave the whole like cupcake selection. <laughs> Sauce. There's nothing worse than spitting when you talk, is there? Well, actually, there is someone else spitting when they talk. Oh, actually, it's making my eyes water. I need to get that out of my head now. Or, oh, you know, when you salivate, like you're going to be sick. That's just what's happened. So, I've actually got goosebumps. I can't have just done that to myself. Blech. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, I've got goosebumps on my face. So, the whole batch of cupcakes as a whole, I just really liked. Nice bright colours, nice colourful sweets on there as well. I just think they were really fun. Very different for me as well. I'm normally into like quite pretty, dainty, I suppose more classic like traditional cakes. These are just a bit out there and bold for me, but I really enjoyed doing them and I loved how they look. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to make brightly coloured ganache drip cupcakes. Don't forget the link to my cupcake recipe and my buttercream recipe are right underneath this video. I'll also link through to the blog post and I'll have that recipe and the buttercream recipe in there as well, so you can get it from either place. But both of them are really good recipes and they're my go-tos constantly. So they are worth the goal. Now if you're baking or cake decorating, this week make sure you take photos and use the hashtag yes darling on instagram so i can see i am fully back now and i'm loving seeing your new photos when there's new people that pop up saying oh this is what i baked this week there's someone this week who did like a beach theme palm tree cake oh, it was so good oh, i love seeing things like that it's just it really excites me it makes my day so use hashtag yes darling and then i'll be able to see them and i can sort of scroll through and, and see all our cake photos together other people do use hashtag yes darling I can't really believe it because I'd never say yes darling in real life but people apparently do and I'm hoping that if enough of us make cakes and use hashtag yes darling on it that we could kind of bowl the normal people out the way and make it a cake thing so if we can revolt make more cakes decorate more stuff hashtag yes darling hashtag yes darling hashtag yes darling eventually the normal people using hashtag yes darling might be like can't use that now that's a cake term clearly but like, let's take it over am i a bit um is that a bit dictatorish no because it's a hashtag revolt with me it might be fun okay that is enough from me if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you haven't already there are brand new videos every single monday so i will crack on with another one and i will see you next week